Hello people of YouTube, this is a tutorial about um, basically getting started with FL Studio. Um, so what I've got open now is just the um, what you'll see when you first open it for the first time. And I'm just going to do a little introduction and explain what everything is and then in later videos I'm going to go through all of the different things like the playlist, step sequencer, the piano roll, mixer and the browser as well. Okay, so basically this first little um, bit here, you've got a few different um, things up here. So file, and um, if you go into file, it'll have all your, new pro all your projects that you'll be making. Um, and export is how you get rid how you export your files into any format or any of these two formats, four formats. Um, once you finished, and I'll do, do a video on rendering a bit later on. That's how you import all this stuff here. That's basic. Um, and then you've got different channels, um, which are we'll, 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 we'll talk about them in in the step sequence of video. Um, and then you've got view, um, which you can customize all the different um, all the different kind of graphics. So if you do set, um, I'll show you that again. So if you go into view and then go down to um, toolbars, no, um, background and set a bitmap wallpaper, you can change the background, which is pretty cool if you're into that sort of stuff. I don't really care, I just keep it how it is. But if you want to do that, you can do that. Um, there's loads of different um, layouts for you to try out. Um, I just use the default, which is just this, and basically what um, the different layouts will move all this stuff around and you get a few extra stuff. Um, you can have a little play with that, I suppose. Um, then different options in terms of system. Um, this is important, you know this kind of stuff. Just for setting up before you do anything. It's good to get set up, keep your resampling on as high as your computer can handle it. Um, just tick most of these stuff, I don't really, uh, the defaults are good on here. Um, depending on how fast your computer is, if you turn the buff length up, it um, reduces uh, the underruns I think, I'm not sure. Um, but basically, up here, it's good, um, but I just leave it here because I, I don't really don't really notice any big difference between it. Um, the sample rate you want to keep it four four one hundred, just because um, it will tell you um, if you look in the little toolbar up here when you go down it tells you the different stuff. But you don't need to really touch that. That's fine. Just the sample rate, and then you've got general. Um, you can change the skin. That's what I was on about. So if you did like with the pattern selector. It does this little noise, and then you get a different thing here. You get a little pad, so you can have a little play with them and find one that you find interesting. And that's pretty much it. The Rift Machine, you can try all this stuff. Just have a little play and get you familiar, familiarize yourself with it. Um, so that's that little bar there. Then you've got the volume and the pitch control. Just keep these constant. Don't ever touch these. Um, just leave them. Just, just leave them, really. Um, I've got my counter here set to seconds just because like, you can do it in beats or you can you can display however you want to do it have a little play with that some of the extra features the tempo this is really important um, when you are changing your whether you're doing a drum and bass song or whatever you're doing um, you can have a play without that and that's basically you need to set that before you do anything so just set that in the genre you want to be making that time and then that's cool really and then you've got pattern selector and then all of this stuff here you can have a little play it's not it's not really that difficult that's quite cool i keep that on um then you've got your computer keyboard your countdown before recording you probably won't be recording you've got your metronome which is just which is just that and you can if you right click you can put a hi-hat on or a beep i uh, don't have beep it's it's gay don't have beep oh god oh god don't have that um yeah multi-linked controllers this is if you want to do like two if you have a midi controller um and you have like a a potentimeter and you want to you want to turn it up or down on like two different effects at once is quite good i use that and you click on that and i'll do a video about that anyway um it's your snap control this basically means that the computer will snap um anything up to um, that beat so if you do per bar I'll quickly show you on the playlist it will only do patterns on that bar but if you want to go if you want to change something in different you can go on the sixth um, sixth step 
to change it on here. If you do on none, it'll just it won't snap, which is not you you not good. Don't do that. Don't do that. Keep it on you know whatever whatever's easier for you. I like to keep it on probably half step. Just so you know, if you're going really close, you can see where it's snapping it. It's only snapping it, you know, half a beat, which is what it means. So yeah, that's that. Um, other stuff. Um, we're gonna go in the next videos. We're gonna check out what these five things do, um, and then you just got this stuff up here, which is just general, basically what's going on over here. Um, the only other thing, um, which is quite good, is Edison. If you click on this button here, you get Edison. That's if you're messing around with samples, doing some crazy shit with that. I don't know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, if you want to play around with that, that's cool. And then there's the online content and events. And no one really reads that unless you're really bored and you don't want to make music. You just want to read news. You can do that, whatever. But yeah, so that's basically the introduction to how to use FL Studio. I hope you have enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I don't really know how to end it, but yeah, here we go. On to the next one.